What is up, guys? This is Venge here, bringing you a Let's Play of the God of War PlayStation 4. Yes! Actually, I always wanted to do a Let's Play of this, but for obvious reasons, I'm always on and off with Let's Plays. Just like I kind of, like, put, a, you know, Tomb Raider down for a moment. Only reason why I did that, I'll definitely come back to Tomb Raider, but... I really, you know, after cracking this game open again, I really, really got into playing this game. I, I really got into this game. Now, if there's anybody that wants to see this game in 60 FPS, um, I'll definitely do it if I wind up getting like, uh, let's say 15 likes. Let's go for that. That's, that's reasonable enough. If I get 15 likes and after the next couple playthroughs of this, then better yet, you know what, I'm going to do this. First playthrough, and then I'm going to end it right at that spot. And then if we wind up getting 15 oh! likes on this video, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this playthrough 60 FPS for the rest of the way. I mean, I'm not really too big on 60 FPS, but hey, I'll just add an extra incentive if people want to see it in 60 FPS. I can do that. It'll take a little more time to um, upload, but I can do it. Most certainly can. I really hope my audio is not bugging out on me again, because that's another thing that's been getting on my nerves, man, with Let's Plays lately. Especially since Logitech is so dumb. Logit like the reason why I say that Logitech makes good products, but like they updated the Logitech webcam Samsung. software, and it's like yikes. F for whatever reason, the Get new the software boy. works horribly. I I don't even understand it when, especially when it comes to making videos, it's like yikes. I literally had to downgrade to like the older software, which it took forever for me to find. And that's what I'm currently using right now. I, I don't get it. But anyway, enough of my ranting and complaining. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to bring you guys this game, right? So my opinion of this game is this game is absolutely wonderful um got like i said in the roast house podcast that um i did with dino fez cd external flash i i was very adamant about god of war playstation 4 and what makes this game so special is this game does everything right without the need of all the excessive machismo that uh, the, the God of War franchise was well known for, like all the guts, that is gore, awesome. sexual imagery. I mean, like, they really done away with a lot of that in this game, and they went in a totally different direction where they wanted Father? to humanize Kratos. The forest feels it, it, it was shocking. A lot, I was wondering if that would even work. Like, make Kratos more yes, sir. emotionally calm? I didn't know that if that would work, but you know what? They did a wonderful job with that. I mean, the funny thing about this game is how uh, Kratos calls his son Oh, boy, all the time. He's like, boy, 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 boy. There's actually a compilation video made of, like, all of the moments when Kratos actually said boy in cutscenes. I don't know if it got all of them, but he put in a lot. That dude that did it put in a lot of work, so. It's funny. But I really respect what they did with the PlayStation 4 version of God of, War. God of War. I mean, it was a very weird concept. The only thing that I don't understand is why is it that Kratos is in, like, this, like, different environment. It's definitely not Greece. You know, it's definitely not Greece or anything like that. 
you know, is is it is very strange. It almost feels like out somewhere in Norway or something. I mean, really. But I mean, overall, this game is very impressive. And if and for those of you that never played this, all of this is in game. Like as you can see, it's like you don't get like this menu screen that pops up. Then you have to press start, and it, everything is like a f free flowing. Everything's a going. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's pretty dope. I mean, I played a lot of this game, but obviously I started to the beginning. It don't, it don't make sense to do a let's play and then you don't even start from the beginning. Oh, there do I see my mother. So you guys could get like my opinions and reactions to oh, there. things. My reactions my may be a bit less shocked for the maybe like the first oh, half me? of the game because I did play a fair amount of the game. I don't think I got fit. I wasn't like 50% through the game, but I did get a good ways through this game. Um, and since I played just about every single God of War game, maybe with the exception, with the exception of the PSP ones, um, like in Retribution, um, like. It's going to be so interesting how you're going to see that Kratos' son is a lot like... She's is right more here. like the Kratos in the previous games in terms of his anger. Like, this Kratos is a lot more calm and subtle. You, I haven't seen much rage from him. It's more like levels of... different levels of concern and compassion. And struggling with I that too. You are free. I mean, it's so interesting. Cause I'm like, is it really like one of these things where Kratos has just magically been teleported to another world and he just started a new life? I mean, at least that's what I the feelings that I get when it comes to this game. But I guess I have to play the game a bit more to find out if that's actually the plot here because I mean it just seems so random I mean you look at Kratos he still has the ashes of his uh, previous family on him still has the you know he has all of that he has the scar when he fought Zeus he has all of that and it's like they have to answer that sometime in the game and I never encountered that part of the game just yet. I mean, just look at this, man. Look how calm Kratos is. He's never been calm like this. He was always like, Rah! I will feast on the flesh of your bones. He was like that kind of dude. Squeeze. I mean, look at this. It's like one of the most amazing things that I've seen. It was hers. Now it is yours. Man, I got feels actually playing this part when I first played it to actually see Kratos she in such thought. a different light. What she knew. Shall we? Now? Now. And this game did so well in regards to that too. And it's almost, and, and I'm going to save it, I'm going to save the discussion for this one part that I want to bring to your attention when we get to it, which was very, it really got me immersed in the game when it, when it reached that point. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to talk about that part when it happens. But I mean, this game looks absolutely amazing. In the direction of deer. Okay. Yes, yeah, time to rustle up some deer, boy. <laughs> All right, let's go. I mean, just look how graphically, like, I did not think. It's crazy how far video games has Father? come when it, you know, when now. it comes to, I need to know you can the look the journey. 
of the Anybody game. For the mountain? Depends on you. Hunt. It looks so freaking real, dude. Like, really? really? What so? did you find? Tracks. Not deer, though. I'll keep looking. And then one thing about this game, it makes you feel like exploring is definitely something you want to do. Like, see all the different little areas. See, like, in God of War, you always want to look um, Boy, in other spots you miss these. to find different huh. things. Close, but also not deer. See? Tips are too wide. Mountains up? Your mother taught you well. Yes. She taught you well. So that was... Yeah. Well, you know what? That was Kratos' way of testing his son. He wanted to see if his son understood what he was looking at. Is that real deer tracks or is that a fake news? I said fake news. <laughs> yeah, boy. I mean, this game is quite impressive. And see, that's one thing about this game. You want to look for everything. Now, I don't think I ever looked at the journal, but I'll look at that later. More tracks? Yeah, but they're too round. Could See, look at that. They even added Good. it where your footprints now what? actually appear. I'm like, dude, the amount of detail. I actually, funny thing is, I never paid attention to that, but after giving this game another look, actually playing it from the beginning. This way, boy. And looking at this huh? stuff again, this boy got hops. Oh. Better hops than me, that's Wait, for sure. Deer tracks. They're fresh. This way. I forgot, I think the boy's name was Atreus, right? I mean, that kid can dunk on me, man. He he got he got hops, bro. Kid huh? got hops. Phone, don't do this. <laughs> and there it is. The deer. That's an epic down, animal. Boy. For real. You are hunting deer, not chasing it. Yes, father. Yeah, tell him what's good, man. Teach him the way. Show him the way, my brother. Show him the way. Show him the way. Alright, let's see. Which way? Okay, I'll go that way. But I gotta take another detour. You know, like, you gotta take detours in God of War if you wanna get everything. Because you're definitely going to want those upgrades later. And even the layout, like the overlays that they created for this game, is totally different from the original game, like the design. It definitely gives you a feel that it's more Normandy, Viking-esque kind of thing. I mean, look at freaking Kratos' beard, man, up broke there. Bridge. Got a beard a like Kimbo Slice, Step aside. Man. If you don't know who Kimbo Slice is, that dude is like a street fighter. Was like a uh, street fighter before he joined the ranks oh. of MMA. Uh, he died. If I'm not mistaken, Kimbo Slice actually died. So rest in peace to him. There it is. Hold. Yeah, don't. Yeah, you fail. What are you doing? <coughs> now his guard is up. Only fire. Holy fire. When I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Oh my god, that line is like, don't be sorry. Get good boy. Get good boy. <laughs> it. And see, that moment right there, you can look that in that in that scene, it was like Kratos got enraged briefly. He got enraged briefly, but he literally calmed himself down. Stay back! Stay back, boy! Oh yeah, look at that combo, boy. Got combos in this game. Then we got punch, black. Oh yeah, I forgot about the shield. Boom! Look at that boot! 
Okay, let's dodge. This, I love the gameplay of this game. I was actually shocked at the gameplay. Like, how are they gonna make the gameplay any different? Okay, I kinda missed that, but okay. But they did a very nice job of uh, changing the feel of combat in this game. Oh my god. Thank you for warning me, bro. Get wrecked. Oh, nice counter. Oh, he froze. Nice. Oh my god. Gameplay in this game is just absolutely outstanding. I love throwing the X. I love throwing the X. Now, look how I tripped him up. Oh my god. No, I get. Nope. <laughs> just give him the full one. Oh my gosh. The flow of combat in this game is. They've never so come good. this close to our woods before. Keep moving. Yeah, keep moving, boy. Um, now, now the thing about the combat, the thing that I like about this game is they do have cancels where if you swing, you can actually dodge mid-swing, which I thought was pretty dope. This game is too good, man. And this game is legendary. I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do a playthrough of this game. To show you guys the awesomeness of this game. And then after I finish this, I will get back into doing, like, trying to get, do, complete a let's play of the Tomb Raider game that I, uh, that I started, but kind of, like, low-key stopped. I still have some gameplay left, so I definitely still got a couple plays to upload for you guys. Um, so I definitely look forward to bringing you guys that gameplay when I get the opportunity to share that with you all. I mean, like, this game is just... Oh my God. I mean, if you haven't played this game, you should get this game. High key. I mean, like, and then you'll get it dirt cheap too. Up oh, wolves! Bark at the moon, baby. No, wolf. Calm your nerves. Oh, I knew you'd try that. I'm gonna punch the doggos. Punch the doggos. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Come on, doggos. The big wolfie. Rip the dog. Why do you keep calling them doggos? Uh. They were just hungry. What? The wolves. They weren't me. They were starving. Yes, I imagine they were. But you gotta remember, boy. You got to remember, boy. It's killed or be killed. <laughs> I mean, that's the reality of the game. We can no longer God use it. We can. Yeah, they, they don't need that. They definitely don't need that. I mean, so basically, I mean, we can call Kratos a Tomb Raider. Because he invades Tomb So good, boy. So good. Only thing is, this game is rattled with cutscenes, but I guess they're not long cutscenes. But usually, when you start a game, cutscenes are usually going to be quite long. Like, this first playthrough is probably going to be rather long. Wait a minute. Well, no, I could leave this way. Especially the format that I'm gonna try to do. Like, because if I wind up getting... See, that's another thing why I'm glad I'm no longer, uh, really focusing solely on YouTube anymore. Because, like, you always have to, you know, talk about likes all the time. And if I, if I get this many likes, then I would do this. You know, it's almost like the opposite of what, you know, you want to do when it comes to content creation. Goals shouldn't be about numbers. 
goal shouldn't be about the number of likes that you get, views that you get. It should be more about community because that's the thing that really keeps you going. Because it's like once you have that community, people will be willing to watch you for you. You know what I mean? And you're not going to get that if you don't have a community. And I mean, and, and to me, it's like YouTube kind of like ruined that for people. Did I go this way? I think I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I did. Because I didn't. I think I came from that way. Well, we're just going to keep it moving for the sake of the let's play here. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> I'm probably you know what? You went to the old temple. But mom told me never to go in there. We do what we please, boy. Yeah. No excuses. We do what we please, boy. You know what? I might want to cut it right here. Yeah. Ooh, I don't want to cut it right here. It's not like we got that much gameplay, but then again, you did get my initial reactions to this game and this this is <laughs> Dang it, boy. You know what? We're going to. All right. So let's say. All right. So here's what we're going to do. This video is going to end here. The second video is not going to be 60 um, FPS because I've already played through a majority of the game. And really, there's not a lot that I want to cut in this one because this is like the first part of the game and I had a lot to talk to you guys about so the first let's play is going to be a pretty long <laughs> I don't know how long these let's plays are going to be but yes um I want to try to keep it down to at least 15 but I feel like that's impossible so the next let's play is not going to be 60 fps if I ever if I actually wind up getting 15 likes on the first one um so, if I wind up getting 15 likes on the first one, I would just reiterate that in the second video, that after that video, that's when I'm going to go ahead and go in and do the whole, we're going to do the rest of the Let's Play in 60 FPS. So, we're just going to do it that way. Um, so, that pretty much ends this let's this num first Let's Play of God of War PlayStation 4. So, thank you guys for your wonderful support. I hope to see you either in the next video or see you at my streams over at Twitch. Because Twitch is where the action is. So, if you enjoy my Nintendo content, you, you're mainly going to get that on Twitch now. It's mostly going to be Let's Plays and write stuff videos on youtube from here on out so look forward to seeing you wherever i see you and thank you so much and we're moving on and we're gonna have an epic 2020 season why did i call it a season i guess a year is considered a season but anyways see you next time peace and god bless